grown man business. I've got another episode of Red Ghost Sports Talk. I'm your host, Red Ghost. Oh, you see the hat, right? Yeah. NFL talk, baby. Denver Broncos talk. Uh, all right. A couple days ago, I talked about Denver Broncos releasing Mark Sanchez uh, Saturday. He was picked up by Dallas Cowboys. One year uh, contract. Uh, he's going to be a, a backup. You know, but uh, not just Mark Sanchez that was released. A guy that I like, running back, Ronnie Hillman. He was also released as well from uh, the Denver Broncos. Number 23, running back Ronnie Hillman. Uh, he was one of my favorite um, running backs um, of last year, man. Prior to the last two years, he got so much speed, man. It just that breakaway speed is something serious. So right now he is one of the top free agents in the NFL right now. I am keeping an eye out on that, but uh, just wanted to talk about it. Uh, I, I don't like it, man. I, I understand what Denver Broncos is doing because uh, they saving money. By getting rid of uh, Mark Sanchez and uh, Ronnie Hillman. And they could throw that money to someone a little more uh, valuable. You know, uh, they saved like $3.3 million with Mark Sanchez. And they saved about $1.6 million with Ronnie Hillman. So, you know, that's roughly like five, close to $6 million or whatever uh, that they saving. Um uh, Ronnie Hillman, that's my boy, man. I like him. I like him. I, I can't even see where where he could go, actually. I'm trying to think, you know, who really needs a, a running back, uh, especially his type of style. You know, the only people I could think of, only team I could probably think of would be uh, Miami Dolphins. Um, uh, oh, man, I don't know, man. <laughs> that's That's all I can think of right now. Maybe Jacksonville. Jaguars, you know, they could use a, a extra running back, especially with a type of experience Ronnie Hillman has. He is considered a veteran now. Uh, he has a Super Bowl ring. Uh, who else? Um, maybe Cincinnati Bengals. Um, but anyway, all right, well, with Ronnie Hillman gone, no longer Denver Broncos, Devontae Booker. This is one of the guys I've been talking about. This is one of the guys I'm liking. And I've been telling everybody about him. Now, Ronnie Hillman has the number 23. Now, since he's gone, Devontae Booker has taken over that number 23. That's his college number, number 23. Uh, I like that number. That's, that's Devin Hester, original number when he was with uh, uh, Chicago Bears. That's Willis McGahey number the whole time. His whole NFL career, you know, with Baltimore Ravens, with uh, Denver Broncos, he was number 23. So he is the original uh, carrier of that number 23. But uh, I just want to talk about that real quick. Tell me what y'all think about that. Denver Broncos, they had released about, I think, 23 players to reach that 53-man uh, that roster. And Rodney Hillman, unfortunately, was one of them. So, uh I don't know, man. I, I, who who y'all think was better, C.J. Anderson or Rodney Hillman? Um, C.J. he did take Rodney Hillman job last year. That was due to injuries, but I, I, I don't know. I think I get an edge to uh, Rodney Hillman. I like C.J. because he's a strong, powerful back, man. He got some size to him. But I, I just love uh, Rodney Hillman speed, man. Speed kills. So uh, there you have it, man. Rodney Hillman, he was released by Denver Broncos Saturday. Uh, he's a free agent. He's one of the valuable free agents out there. Hopefully somebody will pick him up fast. Uh, Devontae Booker will take on the number 23 as well, and he will be the number two back, backing up to uh, C.J. Anderson. Let's talk about it. Denver Broncos, baby. Super Bowl 50 champs. Grown man business.